Okay, let's start example 4. Part A, we are asked to differentiate x cubed over sin x. Okay, let's use a PF notation. So here again, if you look at the function that we have to differentiate, it's not listed on the list of basic functions. So we use our normal plan of attack. First, we have to apply a uh, differentiation rule from this use list to get here. Okay. So here, if I look at the function, given function is constructed by the division of two uh, functions. You know. So therefore, it's mapped to this guy where it's the division of derivative of two functions. So we have to use the quotient rule. Okay. So the quotient rule, if I look at quotient rule. Uh, here, okay, here one this left hand side says differentiate the division of these two functions. First divide and then differentiate, okay. For the quotient also we cannot simply change the order like this, okay. So here we cannot again change the order of the two operations simply, okay, but we can use little bit more complicated this portion rule. Here, okay, in the numerator, we have g denominator times original function in the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus, oh, here we keep the numerator as it is and differentiate the denominator. Okay, and then we divide everything by the square of the denominator. Okay, so this is the quotient rule. We cannot simply change the order. Here we have to use this rule. Okay, the quotient when we are here. Okay, so this now this we are getting to a derivative of a more simpler function, say f and g, you no, know, instead of this compound function f divided by g. Okay, but rule is more complicated. Okay. So again, applying the rule, I have to compare these left sides and identify f and g before plugging. It. Okay, so if I identify here f, this is f, f is x cubed and g is sine x. So here I directly plug in it. Okay, here I directly plug in into the rule for this side. Okay, so here I have the g, no? So g is sine x, so I write here sine x, denominator as it is. Derivative of the numerator x, no? so that f here I'm plugging in for f x cube. Okay. Then minus sign I have f. Okay. So the f is the numerator just x here again. Then the the sign. Okay. Then I divide everything by. sin x squared, okay, g squared means sin x squared, square of the sine function, but we put it in just the okay, sin squared, here with sin, we put square here, no, sin squared, okay. now that is g squared, no? square of, okay, this sin squared, this square of sin, okay, now, with this portion tool, I am here back down to differentiation of basic functions. No? So now I can directly apply one of these rules. Okay? So here I have sin x, okay, derivative of x cube. Now I compare with this guy, no? x n, I identify this side. No? When I apply the rule, always I compare with the left side to identify components. So this n here is 3. No? So when with the power rule you bring down the n, so I bring down 3x and then n minus 1, no? 3 minus 1 is 2. So that is the derivative of x cubed. Since I differentiated x cubed, I no longer write d by dx, no? Okay, now x cubed, okay? Now derivative of sine x, which is again a basic function, just simply cos, no? Cos x and in the denominator I can write sine squared x. One more step is better to always write this x squared in front of x terms in front of the sine. So I have sine x just 